Hi guys, in this video we are going to see how to install MySQL 8 version on CentOS operating system. We have divided MySQL installation process into 5 steps. In the step 1, we are going to add MySQL M repository. In the second step, we are going to install MySQL. In the third step, we are going to start the MySQL server. In the fourth step, we will check the status of MySQL server on Linux. In the fifth step, we are going to connect to the MySQL. Whatever the commands I am going to perform in this video will be updated in the video description. I have connected to my CentOS Linux operating system. Now, we are going to add MySQL M repository by using the command wget. To add the MySQL M repository, go to this URL and copy this link. That is MySQL AT Community release l 3 not dot rp then make the command like wget https repo dot mysql dot then paste the command execute this wget command to add the mysql m repository i am going to keep this command in the video description now we have downloaded the package now we have to install the package on linux machine by using the command m local install then provide the marking name press it. accept it by typing type. package installation has been come now we can verify whether the m repository has been added or by running the command m repolish enable get mysql dot tor hyphen community dot star course so it has been added now the second step we are going to install the mysql version on linux server command is m install mysql hyphen community hyphen server press enter it is going to download the 441 mb space press y it has to download 441 MB size. This may take time, so I am pausing this video until this download completes. Download has been completed. Now it is installing on Linux CentOS 7 operating system. So, we have installed MySQL successfully on CentOS operating system. Now, we are going to check the status of MySQL server. The command is service MySQLD status. Notice here, it is inactive and dead. So, as mentioned at the starting of the video, the third step is we are going to start the MySQL server. Service mysql d dot so we have started the mysql server by using the command service mysql d start let's verify the mysql server status by using the command mysql d status notice here is active and running. If it is not started, then it will be like this inactive and dead. So, we have verified the fourth step. We can verify MySQL server version by using the command MySQL hyphen hyphen version. So, we have installed MySQL version 8.0.16 and server name is mysql community server final step is the connect to the mysql server by running the command mysql hyphen u root hyphen u by default password of root is empty press enter here we got the error so we 
don't know the default password, then get the temporary password. We can get the temporary password by grep the mysql d dot log file. See, this is the temporary file which is located in mysql d log file. Now try to connect to mysql server by running the mysql hyphen u root hyphen p and copy the password and paste it. So, we have successfully connected to mysql server. Once we connected to mysql server by using the temporary password, we have to reset the root password of mysql server. By using the command alter user root at the rate I have to provide the host name. Here my host name is local host identified by new password that is admin at the root file. So, it is not satisfied with the policy requirements. So, I have to give different password. Alter user root at the rate local host identified by John at the rate 321 enter. So, we have reset the password of root user. To effect the changes immediately, we have to run the command slash privileges. So, the changes has been effected. Now, let us try with the new password. Exit from the MySQL. Here, here the password is John grade 31 go. So, now we have successfully connected to MySQL server. In this video, we have installed MySQL M directory, then we have installed MySQL server, then we have started the MySQL server, then we have verified the MySQL service, then we have tried to connect to the MySQL server with the user root, but we failed to connect to the MySQL server with the root. Then we we get the temporary password. After that, we reset the password of root user. Then we have connected to MySQL server with the root user. For more updates related to MySQL and PostgreSQL videos, please subscribe my channel.